yeah, man, fuck that fifty dollars. What's up? <laughs> hey man, we I'll be good. Uh, I went to this hot dog place uh, around the corner called Pink's. It was really good. Shit was great. <laughs> but what fucked me up? They got a hot dog called Martha Stewart. Seriously, you know that's a white lady who said nigga and shit, you know. And uh, this white lady had bought the hot dog and she bit it and looked at me and said, "Nigga, this is good." <laughs> I was like, you must got extra ketchup or chili because it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I bit it again. I said, nigga, you right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that bitch know what she was doing when she said the N word. She got an old hot dog. I'm over there eating it like, niggas, come try this Martha Stewart. She knew what she was doing. Uh, I was driving earlier and I saw the gas prices. Gas out here like 4 15 4 25 What? That shit better make me full. <laughs> 4 25 for some gas. I look at my light and I said, you better keep pushing. You better keep swimming like Nemo, because if you stop, I'm going to get out this motherfucker and I'm going to hike. Fuck that. <laughs> Four dollars in my gas and hell, no, that's a lot of money. And I bet if people with like real, real beat up cars, but with like really, really expensive gas, and they ride around town, like I bet this gas ain't up like mine. With bullet holes and a spare tire and shit. <clears throat> I went home recently in North Carolina. I've been to LA almost two years, year and a half. And uh, my mom, she's still the same. She just changed a little bit. You know, she loved me. But when I lived home, she 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 hated me, but she loved me. And I come back, she loves me. She's really, really nice. I don't even think my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was home before I moved to LA, she always said, she like, what you doing in this house? It's sunny outside. Go outside. I don't want you in this house. You got friends here. Take the keys. Go somewhere. Go to the park. I come home, it's different now. She's like, well, I can't believe you left North Carolina. I'm so proud of you. I was like, mama, you threw me out the house. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I told you to never give up. No, you said you never come back. <laughs> she cooking for me and shit. I'm like, mama, I haven't made it. She spit it out to my cookie that belonged in the refrigerator. Why thought you made it? You out there with the palm trees and shit. <clears throat> and all my friends back home, they sell drugs. All of them sell drugs, they all sell drugs, they got guns, but they got no car. It's really backwards back home, man, I'm telling you. So when I'm in town, I drive my mama car and shit. As soon as I got in town, one of my cousins like, yo, mama, pick me up so I can sell this house around the corner. It's like, nigga, I haven't been home in a year and a half. You think I'm gonna help you deliver some weed? No. The fuck? And why you out here selling drugs with, you walking around with drugs and, and a gun and you ain't got no car? I can get away, they gonna run your stupid ass over. <laughs> Man, he shot three people, but that Volvo took him out, you know? <laughs> And all my friends, they do a lot of drugs, so they never have money. They're like, we should go rob this nigga, bro, to get our money back. You know, maybe you should go to rehab and get a job, you know? <laughs> All right, thank you, Pete. <laughs>